Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the den. Legacy Internet Radio. Every time I hear Teddy P singing this song, I probably play this song probably more than because the world's so jacked up. We need to wake up everybody. So every time I hear it, I just get in my feelings and stuff. So ain't no half step with Marcus J. Live from the den. Legacy Internet Radio. Thank y'all, everybody, for listening to our show. Tonight we are the flagship show of Legacy and that radio heard live from the den every single Monday night from 8 p.m. Excuse me, from 7 p.m. until we finish. We started early tonight uh, because we had a dynamic interview that we started to show off tonight. It was so big that we had to start the show early, so we appreciate it. Eight zero four four zero two two eight nine three is the number to dial to be a part of the show tonight. Hit us up in social media, share our stuff. Let everybody know that you are listening to one of the fastest growing internet radio stations in the RVA area and beyond. And so we appreciate everybody that's listening to us. Ain't no ass stepping Marcus J. All right. SY's favorite segment. This is a segment we don't do very often. And every single time that we do it, she act crazy as hell. She be grinning, and I, I, I think I probably stopped doing it because she gets so like damn, it. you know, you excited stop about doing it. Because I like it. Oh, good <laughs> grief! I, I just, I just don't want to do you nothing nice that? for her. So don't try to. I don't want her me. to be happy. I want her to be frowning and, and upset. No, you don't. You would be upset if I was upset. Tell the truth. Huh? Tell the truth. Huh? Yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. You stink. See? Ain't no half step with Marcus J. All right, random. Are you still? I'm going to explain to everybody what random is. Random is a segment that we do where we just ask some silly, crazy, really, you want to know that? Bugged out questions. And usually five, six, seven questions. We go around the room. Everybody answers the question. And then we have a little fun with it. I want to bring back to the discussion our young sister, Pandora, uh, who's been in the room for the whole show. I want you, Pandora, to participate in this segment with your mommy, S.Y. Butler. And so, Tony, I'm going to ask you first. We're going to jump off the segment called Random. And tonight we got seven questions. We got seven questions, so we're not going to take a lot of time, but we are going to go around the room. We're going to answer these questions. All right, first question. Tony, what was your first job? First job you ever had in your life, ever? Shoney's. Shoney's. I, was a, um, I worked at a salad bar. In what city, state? Chester, Virginia. Well, and actually, I started as a hostess, and then they made me work the salad bar like, within like a couple of weeks, and I used to steal eggs and put them in my apron and go in the bathroom and eat them. I never met a person <laughs> in my life that stole eggs. She stole eggs, Amber. I didn't really steal them. Amber, I she stole eggs. Mm-mm. I rescind that Life statement because I'm not a thief. <laughs> <laughs> they scrambled the Because we weren't allowed yeah, to Yeah, right? <laughs> Did you hear what we she said? We weren't. I heard her. They were scrambled, the ones that are on the bar. Ew, you stole scrambled, scrambled eggs? eggs? Because we weren't allowed to eat while we were working. And I used to be hungry. Can you imagine all that bacon? Oh, it's getting so, so I would worse. take like a handful of bacon and a handful of eggs and put them on my apron. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to use the bathroom. And I'd go in the bathroom. Oh, that's so disgusting right now. Amber, yes. where's the first job you ever had in your life? I've had so many jobs. First like, one. I th- She's a Headley. A Headley? What's a Headley? Um, I think my very first job, like on payroll, working for somebody, getting a check, was this the Human uh, Human Resources in San Diego, San Diego County. I did something down that's there. That's right. Because I know the, the listeners on the pregame knows that's where you're from, but the listeners of Ain't No Half Step and Marcus J don't know that you are, in fact, from San Diego, California. You're not from Jersey? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and, neither <laughs> you. It, and neither are you. And neither are you. You know where you know where she's from. She used to a Amber. She used to rap Jersey, but you know where she's from? Pennsylvania. 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 Norris Town, Pennsylvania. If you gonna do me, do me right. Norris Town, Pennsylvania. Knock it off. All right. That's why, since we on the subject with you and your Pennsylvania repping self, what was your first job ever? I was a sales rep. Oh, can you hear me now? Check one. Check two. Really? (laughs) Oh. I was a sales rep at the Horowitz store. Horowitz. Yeah. It was my mom's friend. They gave me a job in their store. I was 13 years old. 13 years old. Mm-hmm. Pandora, first job you ever had in your entire life, what was it? In a, what you just did this summer. Oh, oh, oh. Come, 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 come to the mic. 
and 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 when the next six questions come, be ready. Um, my my first job um, was dog walking with my aunt for about three months in New York. Say word. Use a dog so walker. Use a dog. Use a dog. Use a dog walker. <laughs> yeah, I, I like. Did that. you ever have to walk a Saint Bernard? I don't. I don't remember. But <laughs> you would have remembered the Saint Bernard. I don't remember. <laughs> I, oh, um. So I got a special, special, oh, special oh, shout out for you, SY. Your boo is checking in. Oh, hey, baby. Your boo is oh, checking God. in. Hey, baby. You know who your boo is. You ain't heard from him hey, in a while. Okay. He said that we wildin' as usual, and he checked Hi, in. Okay. He, uh, he, watch yourself. See, I didn't even say his name, but y'all already hey, know. Okay. What's up, baby? Y'all already know. He said that he checked in on your egg story. <laughs> That's the first thing he heard. Don't go eating no eggs out of Shelly. Watch out for Tony because she she said, hey, watch out for Tony, Haki, because she was stealing eggs. Ain't no telling what's going on with her stone match. Anyway. You already know what's up with my stone. Oh, my God. Lord. And Haki said, what's up, That's why. Uh Hakeem says uh, he knows he's not on the panel, but Miss Renteria Got him his first job at Liberty Science Center working for design and production, uh, which is crazy because I also, it's not my first job, but since he shouted out Liberty Science Center in Jersey City, I also used to work at Liberty Science Center in Jersey City, which is what it sounds like. It's a science center. So uh, I don't know, Hakeem, if you and I work together there, but you and I have so many degrees of separation. That might have just been one of them. We can go back to STEP. We can go back to K-Dub. And now, of course, we got uh, uh, Liberty Science Center 502, baby. My first job was at Rickles Home Center in Jersey City, New Jersey. <laughs> Rickles, uh, which if you want to know what Rickles is, Rickles is like a Home Depot or Lowe's type of store. Um, my first job, and I'll tell you a very brief story. I remember I was a cashier. I was the only guy that was a cashier. All the guys worked in stock, but I was the only dude that worked in the front with the girls as a cashier. I would be the one. And I remember there was this one day where I was I was working. We were closing the store, closed it at nine, closed at nine thirty at night. And I was standing there, and this girl walks in the exit, and I'm looking at her. I'm like, yo, we closed. And she was like, nah, I'm looking for such and such. Can you tell them th um, that Dana's here? And I was like, all right. And so, you know, I sent somebody in the back, and we was all looking for who that person was. And that person came up, and he left with Dana. And one of my coworkers came up to me and was like, yo, you know who that was? I was like, Dana? I'm like, no, I don't know what. I know. That was Who? Queen Latifah. That was Queen Latifah. I, the one time in my life I met Queen, I met Queen Latifah, and the only thing she ever said to me was, "Yo, it's such and such at work." <laughs> so I didn't know who she was, but that was my time meeting Dana. Um, and you know, the next time uh, I saw her was, or the last time I should say I saw her was two weeks ago on Bessie, and I saw more of her than I thought that I ever needed to see. Ain't no half step on Marcus J. All right. Boobies. Yeah, man. I mean, it was nice boobies, but they were on screen too long. <laughs> That's why. When you having your moment, what is your feel-good movie? That movie that you turn on that you can watch anytime, any day, doesn't matter. You can watch it. It's your joint. It don't matter what's going on. Many of us have multiple movies. If you want to give two or three of those movies, cool. If you only have one, that's fine. I just set it up for the crew. Your feel-good movie that you can watch any time of the day, year, week, month, whatever. The Bad Seed. Bad Seed. Yes, with Patty McCormick. Okay, never heard of it. Okay. Yeah, y'all got to watch this movie. I wa I'm I'm telling you, I've seen this movie at least a hundred times. A hundred times? At least. Is there anybody that normal people have ever heard of in this movie? You never heard of Patty McCormick? Obviously not, or else I wouldn't have set it up that well, way. Well, she's the star. Obviously not, or else so I then, wouldn't have set it up that so way. So then, no. Okay, good. But she's like this child killer. She gets it. Her mom is, her, well, her grandmother is, um, what's the nurse that killed all the patients? Uh, I know Dr. Kevorkian no, killed patients. No, not that fool. Nurse the nurse. Help me out. Yeah. Who's she baby. talking about? Uh, her, her name will you come to nothing. me. You got nothing. Her name will come to me. But yeah, and every time I know. watch this movie, I see something different that I didn't see. This little girl is evil. We should stop falling asleep. <laughs> oh no I watched this movie from start to finish like I know the lines to this movie like y'all know the, the lines to the rap songs 
<laughs> she said rap songs, <laughs> which like completely took away any hipness she would have. Amber, that movie or several movies. I don't, you know what? I'm drawing the biggest blank right now, but I mean, like, I have a few movies that I really like. Like, I don't know. I've seen Step Brothers. Like, Step Brothers is always <laughs> funny. Um, is that Will Ferrell and yeah. what's the dude's other guy's name? Yeah, Will Ferrell and uh, I, I, funny looking guy with the curly black guy. Yeah, fro. The, yeah. Um, and I really like, uh, I really like Girl Interrupted. Mm-hmm. And I really like, I really like Lawless. Um, Lucy Lou? I haven't seen it. It's a, it's a white movie. It's on Netflix, though. You guys can it's check a it white out. movie? Mm-hmm. As if to say that we've movie. never seen movies with white Have people in them? Have y'all seen it? <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Is Lucy Lou in that? No. No, it's all white people. Um. It's all white people. <laughs> No, but it's cool. It's on. Um, no, but y'all, y'all would like it though. No, I wasn't saying it like that, but <laughs> did that to be funny. Uh, but no, it's um, no, it's cool. It's uh, it's got Shia LaBeouf is in. It's about some moonshiners. And, oh, now see, now I do yeah, know it's that a good movie. Is um, Shia LaBeouf got beat up. Who's the other like guy? Is it, is it is Tom? Is Tom <laughs> Hardy in that movie? Hmm? Tom Hardy in that movie? Don't get me the lion. He might be, and I just don't know see? him as an actor. Like I that. like white people movies. Some of them. Yeah, prefer boys in the hood and shit like that though pandora mm-hmm. what's your movie that you can watch any damn time of the day year month whatever uh, i have i have a few movies i only have give me two. three um lock in at three um duplex um duplex is great duplex. that's a good movie um duplex Mr. Deeds was another one, and um, Happy Gilmore. Me, <laughs> me and my sister would bond over Duplex and Mr. Deeds. Yeah, would be laughing and resetting lines for about two to three weeks, and Mom would be looking at us like we're crazy. But it. Bang, bang. Hakeem is uh, co-signing me, saying Tom uh, Hardy was in fact in Lawless. Tony, what's your movies? Um, Imitation of Life. Oh, excellent! Mm-hmm. Excellent. Um. Love Jones, and most recently, we're the Millers. Oh my God! <laughs> Every time that movie is on, I watch it because that hilarious. Yeah, man. Wait, wait, the balls, balls, balls. Oh my God! Oh my I'm Marky God. Mark, and y'all are the Funky Punch. Oh no, no, I was saying. <laughs> You know it's funny when people who like love a movie, but they the only ones that love the movie. Remember, you yeah. know that feeling, Amber? Like right now. now. <laughs> if y'all watch that movie, yeah, it's, it's a know, funny movie. All right, listen, my horrible. movies. Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Tony. No, I was gonna say I also loved um, Running Scared and Lucky Number Schlepp. Which one? Because there's two Running Scares. There's Not the Billy Crystal one. Hines. No. Both the of them are great, though. The Paul one with Paul Walker, Walker is great. I can't bring great. myself to watch one with Gregory Hines. Oh, that I one is so TV. good, man. Dang. Billy Crystal and Gregory <laughs> Hines and, and, and Jimmy Smith. That's a great movie. But the one Billy with Paul Crystal. Walker is good, too. Yeah. There's two two running scares. All right. For me. Did you say random spoons? Go ahead. Random spoons, yeah. All right. Shout out to Mama J. Um, I have so many movies. Like. I have so many movies, so I'm going to rely on the quirky movies that I loved as a kid that I would be willing to bet that you have probably not seen. And if you have seen, you're going to feel some kind of way about me, which I don't care because y'all can't beat me. But the first one I'm going to say is Flash Gordon. Flash. Ah. Okay, what's your next one? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna that need that moment again. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. 1980, campy, Flash Gordon. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's another movie called Super Fuzz. I remember. You remember Super Fuzz? I thought I was the only one that loved this movie. It's about no, this no, dude. I didn't love it. My uncle loved it. Super Fuzz is a great movie about a dude who he got caught up in like a bad storm and ended up getting superpowers that went away once he saw the color red. Um, notice that there's a theme with superheroes. Hakeem has seen both the movies. He thinks I'm great, even though he didn't text that, but I'm waiting for oh, him to text that. Oh, oh, no. He didn't text it, but I'm waiting for him to text it. Don't and then it. my other my other guilty pleasure, because I allowed us to three, because I knew that I would have three, is a movie called Convoy, where Chris Christopherson and Burt Young and a whole Franklin Ajayi and a bunch of people about a bunch of truckers. Movie is great. Google it. Google Convoy. Sam Peckinpah was the director. It's a great movie. All right. Y'all giving me the face. The face means move on. All right, Amber, what's your favorite color? Red. Red. Any reason, red. rhyme or reason, or just red? I, you know what? I don't know. It's just, I just really like every, everything I like. I just, I want it 
red. I don't know. <laughs> she she rolled. I know I don't have any on, but you know what I'm saying. It is my favorite color. That's your believe job. it or not. Hey man, you don't need no reason. No, it's just, it's, like, I mean, if there's a popsicle, I'm probably going to pick the red one. <laughs> How, uh, Jackie Jackie says her movie is uh, Poetic Justice, and I, I know you can't go wrong with Poetic Justice. You definitely can't go wrong with that. Yeah, Poetic Justice is good. And Hakeem is telling me that he hasn't seen my movies. Thank you, Hakeem. <laughs> Thank you, Hakeem. Uh, okay, you even did yourself with the seven. ladies. That's the way uh, we did. Pandora, what's your favorite color? Can I have multiple favorite colors? Give me no more than three. You can't um, have more than one black, favorite. Dark yeah, that's purple, true. Purple and um, dark green. Surprise! You, you can only have one favorite. Just you can only have one. No, one I best. like neon green. It reminds me of the biohazard symbol. It's really cool. You like biohazards? <laughs> All righty. <laughs> <laughs> that's your child. <laughs> Let me take that mic. <laughs> that's your she child. She done broke it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you want to, you know, Yellow. jump in here. What's your favorite color? Yellow. You like yellow? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want this legal pad here? Here you go. Yellow. There's a gift for you. No. All right. Mm-hmm. Tony, what's your favorite color? Green. All right. And as a chorus, everybody, what's Marcus's favorite color? Black. Blue. One more time, Tony. Blue. Blue. I can't stand this one here on my right. <laughs> black is obviously my favorite color. I would wear black every day, every night, and if I could, I love black. I love black. I love the mystery. Uh, I love the don't f with me ness of black black. Nobody is, else did and you that. can't tell if it's dirty. That's I true. That too, because yes, I can. you know some it's like an ashy black, like my pants. <laughs> oh, or an elbow, <laughs> or a kneecap, <laughs> or oh, a fat girl's cheek. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Come on now Don't act like y'all Didn't see the fat girl With the darkness On her cheek Come on man mm. Hey look We the same people Who talk about Making fun of memes We can't talk about The fat girl With the darkness On the cheek Come on now Anyway You know Ask Devin Marcus Yeah I just offended A bunch of people Fat girls We love you too Alright I'm a fat girl now. We to Pandora Who would play you In a movie about you <laughs> Um if it were gender bent, um, probably Vincent Price. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who? I need to Google that. Darkness falls across the land. Y'all laugh, the but midnight I can see hour, that. close at hand. Y'all laugh, but I Creatures can see call that. Creatures call in first of blood to I terrorize like, your I neighborhood. Can see that. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Isn't it, was it like the Adams family? Nah, man. Vincent Price was the creepiest dude in the history Ever. of cinema. House of Ever. Haunted Hill. Only oh, person wow. that was more creepy than him was maybe Bella Lugosi. Vincent Price, for real? No, the little lady from um, Poltergeist. Poltergeist, yeah, man. No, I think Boris Koloff is nice. Boris Koloff, yeah. Wow, okay, Pandora, we love you, boo. <laughs> we love you, boo boo. Mama? Angela Bassett. And mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Amber, who's playing you in a movie about you? Beyonce. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Probably Michael Ealy. Actually, you know what? Y'all got the same pair of eyes. That's what I'm like. Hey, I mean, he look like me, I guess. You know, he could play me if you want to. You know, we both flat chested. <laughs> <laughs> Say word. <laughs> Shit, I'm a boob. I'm a boob guy. I would be like, look. Shit. Who's Tony? playing you? I I'm gonna go last. Tony, who's playing you in a movie about you? Ooh. <laughs> who's playing me? Aisha Tyler. Aisha Tyler is playing you in who's a movie. That? She is so funny on um, whose line is it anyway? Um, she was. She's not still on the View, is she? She is. Is she still on the view? She is. Yeah. She's, yeah, because she's, I think she's hilarious. I like her. And she's mm-hmm. very beautiful. I can dig her. Mm-hmm. Smart and smart. No, I can dig her. She's cute. Uh, Lorenz Tate is playing me. Boy, please. He is. Spike Lee is playing you. Nah, he's too old. No way. He is. Look at the power of makeup, Spike man. Lee is like 20 years older than me. Are you kidding? Have you seen The Nutty Professor? Do you see what they can do with Tate. makeup? They can age you yeah. up. They can't age you down. Sure they can. You see Benjamin Button. Tate. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Lorenz Tate is playing me. Ain't nobody questioning y'all, people. You said Michael Ealy. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, she I mean, said you know. Vincent Price. She <laughs> said Vincent Price. <laughs> 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 it's a silent movie he could play. She did say Michael Ewan. Yeah, man. All right, all right. <laughs> That's why. Who was your first famous crush? The first famous crush? Prince. Your first famous crush? Prince. 
Okay. Tony, who was your first famous oh, yes. crush? Your Night first. Rider. Dave really? Hasselhoff? <laughs> yes. Okay, after you just teased me about Lorenz Tate and you going to come with the next question with was, David was Hasselhoff? Or the, um, the drunk Duke caller? Boys? <laughs> Boy. Who was first, Knight Rider or the Duke Boys? They, uh, Duke Boys came first. Well, the Duke Boys, because I was I love both of them. Luke and both Duke. You like Crim? You Duke. like you like Luke and Duke, huh? Luke okay. And Duke, yes. <laughs> she said Luke they and was Duke. Tag team. Make me a Tony sandwich. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. Oh, they like chocolate. Okay. I've been kind of thin at the time because I won't. All right, let me find you out. You want to go in and play Daisy on the, on um, Luke? Oh my goodness! On Dukes of Hazard, 2016. Oh my, oh my goodness, Amber, first first famous crush. Dmx. Ah, he's uh, love DMX. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, for you. He's kind of he's attractive in a little crackish way. <laughs> he was so fine to me. A little crackish when that Rough Riders anthem no, came out. Whoa, <laughs> he was everything. I used to <laughs> love DMX. Oh my god! I mean, I, actually, I liked all the Rough Riders. I like. I wanted. To, I wanted. I wanted, I wanted to, to be a, be a yeah, Rough Rider. To be like with I'm. Them. <laughs> I didn't want to get on the motorcycle. I wanted, I wanted to just pit driven bull. along beside in, in a car because I'm scared of motorcycles. But yeah, Rough Riders, all of them. Oh my God. Was, yeah. I Onyx. Oh. Pandora. Who is your first famous crush? Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe? Oh. Like Harry Potter, Daniel Harry Potter yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. I'm sorry, I have to jump in here. <laughs> she lied. Oh. What's the little boy that sing, Little White Boy? That I always tease you about. Justin Bieber. Yeah. Not the one that was on the little white boy. Justin Bieber? No. Mm -mm. Justin Timberlake? He had, a, he had a commercial for the GameCube. What's it called? Let's say a game. And the girls were knocking on the door, and they was like, oh, it's for you. And he opened the door, and he was so busy playing this game. What's the little white boy name? No, you know who it is, and I'm always teasing you. Nick Jonas? No, it's not Nick Jonas. Was it? Begin with a yeah, I'm, I'm going to look it up, y'all. And actually, he got he had a song out. I can't remember the name of it, um, but in his video, he was dressed up. No, no. Uh, I still know every word to this song. Shout out to Amber. Jesse McCartney. That's his name. Jesse McCartney. Now I hate him. Hold on, Amber's gonna rap. Be quiet. I know every word to this song, but Marcus doesn't like the end words. All right, it would just bleep it out. Substitute it for nicotine. Substitute the N word for nicotine. I can't think that fast. I don't think that fast. Because she doesn't like nicotine. Then you're at You know, I have to have a mark and say, I, you know, I had, I had so many. Um, but probably for me, the first one that I was really on was Vanity in The Last Dragon. Yeah, Van Vanity in The Last Dragon was probably my first famous crush and whatnot actually either either her or, or charlene from different strokes also known as janet jackson, janet jackson so can you do me a favor yes ma'am can you ask hakeem who's gonna play him how about you his? ask hakeem he's listening hakeem, who's gonna play you in the movie about your life hakeem the challenge is out we're gonna be in this segment for another few minutes and you got until we're done to let us know who's playing hakeem in a movie about hakeem Amber, yeah. what's your favorite cuss word? Um, and if it's really bad, just give us a letter. I say damn a lot. I say damn a lot. You say damn a yeah, lot? Yeah, I think that's my favorite cuss damn word. Damn is your favorite cuss word. Pandora, what's your favorite cuss word? What's oh, your yeah, favorite cuss word? Mommy, <laughs> wants <to> <laughs> Mommy wants to know. Mommy wants to know. Mommy wants to know your favorite cuss word. Um, what is, I, I don't have, I don't choose those type of favorites. Okay, well Can then, then to, give like a not through. so bad word that you <laughs> like to use a lot. Like yeah. <laughs> um, I say flipping a lot. Flipping. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's bad. The dirtiest that's of terrible. all terrible. Can't believe you say that. It's like ah, oh, flipping and it's. Thank <laughs> you. Tony. Tony, what's your favorite? What's your favorite cuss I'm word? Ashamed. Don't now you're like ashamed. that word that like your daddy and uncles used to say. It's probably by that <laughs> What? <laughs> Did you see how excited you got? Oh, MF. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's not my But I say it like they used to say it. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I say that so much that I don't even realize that I'm saying it sometimes. That's why I was your favorite customer. But I don't really cuss. Shit. You know, Shit, yeah. 
Shit. I, my favorite cuss word is absolutely unequivocally no denying the F word. I absolutely love the F word. I love the F word because it's a multi purpose word. Can you I, can do so many things with the F word. No, you know, I have a you, 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 you want to F, you don't give a F. You know what the f? F you. F you. I mean, there's so I many know. things that you no, can do me, with the f word. I yeah. don't really cuss. I love the f word. Shit, until I'm around. Oh, that one. Oh shit. And when I'm at work, <laughs> get your own word. <laughs> Look. And when I'm and at work, Hakeem is checking in. Uh, Hakeem says that um, shout out to our Jersey City brethren, Woo-hoo! our brother, our brother from Jersey City, Derek Luke is playing. Hakeem oh, in the movie. Yes. Okay. Cool. No, really. Hallelujah. Sorry. Maybe okay. I can get his brother Maurice to hook you up. Anyway. For real? Wait yeah. a minute. Back up what you saying? <laughs> oh, I, what am I talking about? I didn't really say that. That was a joke because I got a man. I got a man Teach and I love him. What your man got to do with me? I'm not trying to hear case. that, see? <laughs> Amber has a question, teacher. Amber, Amber, you got a question? She got, she got another cuss You want to you wanna sh- you wanna switch it up? I a different one because I don't say damn as much as I say this other one. Okay. Mine, I like shit too, but I don't say it like that. I'd be like, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I say that all the time. So, I say that all the time. That's my response. We going out tonight? She is. <laughs> What's the dude from The Wire that used to say it like that all the time? <laughs> my favorite one. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackie's checking in. Jackie. Jackie said that her okay. first, her first, uh, her first crush was 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 James Todd Smith. Oh, LL. Yes, ladies James. love. Yeah, LL. James Todd. Hey, do y'all remember Stony Jackson? I remember Stony Jackson. I was watching two two seven like three days ago. <laughs> yeah, you know Stony's from Richmond. <laughs> what mic number is huh? that? Stony is actually from Richmond. Oh, is it? Yeah, Stony's from Doris Richmond. Changing her answer. You changing your answer? Oh lord, here we go. Here we go. Me and my sister shared. Well, it wasn't really a crush, but it was all like, oh, he's so cool. It was the Undertaker from WWE. <laughs> oh, really? girl, no. Who, now she's into the, older um, men. The, the really? Indian dude. Yeah. She's really? in the. Mark Callaway, huh? Ricky, Ricky Steamboat, Steamboat was, but yes. Ricky Steamboat Ricky was Steamboat. not yes. Indian. He was Indian. He was Hawaiian. Thank you. Well, same thing. Same thing. I mean, same thing. He had good hair. He Listen, like, um, Pandora, when we take a break, we're going to talk about this Undertaker and Vincent Price thing. <laughs> we need to talk. Y'all, y'all, just, <laughs> y'all just got a taste of my daughter's personality. Oh, my goodness. We need, to have a con- we need to have a conversation about that. We need to talk about Mark Calloway the, the, and, the and, was, and, and Dracula. The, the thing was, I, I, I had these boots for, for a while. I had these boots for a while. I recently bought a pair of platform boots that she does not let me wear outside the house. No joke. She won't. No, no, no. She won't. Do they have fish tanks in them? She lied. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you, you sucker. sucker. <laughs> <laughs> she, she lied. She can wear them out the house. Oh my goodness. But it's summertime, and they're not platform boots. They're oh Lily. You said platform Herman boobs. Monster they boots. Just wanted to let you know that you said platform boobs. They're okay. Herman Monster. Okay. Boots. Wow. Ain't no and you stepping. ain't going with me. Ain't no ass to have Marcus. All right, last question. This one's relatively serious. Um, that's why you're up first because you gave me the strongest physical reaction to me saying that it's relatively serious. You can have fun with it, but this one to me is a little bit serious. Um, and I stole this question from um, somewhere else. I won't tell you where, but when you hear the question, based on the last question I asked and this next one, you'll know where I got it from. If you're in a foxhole, and you only got one person to help you get out of it, who you rolling with? My mom. Rolling with your mom, Amber. Yeah, my dad, and he's listening, so you better be rolling with me too, daddy. <laughs> uh, my mom, your definitely. Mom. Your mom. It's <laughs> like, mom, I uh, need some help, so yeah, help, please. Tony, you're in a foxhole. You only got one person to help you fight out of it. Who you fighting with? I have to say my brother. Your brother? Because he is crazy as hell. Like, Your brother? Can I choose my entire family? Because that can work. Yeah. <laughs> <He's the only laughs> I, I, I am going to go. He's the only person I know who would sacrifice himself for me. I don't know. I couldn't convince nobody else to. <laughs> <laughs> like, you go that way while I run. Depending on the situation, you just might be in there by your damn self. Allow me to repopulate the earth. Uh, yeah. if, it was, yeah, if it was me, I would take. The Undertaker. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there's so many people, but I, w- I would probably say my little sister because this is a person from the time she was born. 
and she's five years younger than me. But from the time she was born, she came out the room, room ready to fight with me, for me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, as recently as not too long ago, I had a conversation with her about something that upset me, and she was ready to fight then. And she's like 35 years old. My so, namesake. Yeah, the Antoinette and Antoinette. Yeah, so, yeah, my, my little, my little, my little sister. But I, I could have I said any number of people. That's just the one that popped in my head first. Ain't no half stepping. With Marcus J. Live from the Dan Legacy Internet Radio. We're going to take our final break of the night. And when we come back, we're going to share some good news and some bad news here on the show. Uh, ain't no has to have Marcus Day. I got Tony. I got Amber. I got Pandora. And I got the co-host. And y'all, be back. <laughs> 